Hi, I'm Mitch Waite, founder of MogianMonster.com, and I'm getting ready to start into my seventh season of Bigfoot research. Now, I would like to state right now, I am not a Bigfoot hunter. I am a Bigfoot researcher. There's a big difference. I'm not out to prove their existence. I will not kill one. I will not harm one. And I certainly won't put one on display. However, what I do is research. And a lot of times I have to do it through various methods since Bigfoot won't cooperate and let me examine them and so forth. So I have to go about different ways of collecting data. Now one of these things that I've created is a Bigfoot face database. And this database actually helps me determine how many Bigfoot there are, their longevity, their birth rate, and so forth. Uh, some other things that I might get out of it uh, might include uh, where they hang out, their food sources, uh, <clears throat> their different facial characteristics, their habits, and so forth. So we get a lot of information out of the Bigfoot Face database. Now how was this Bigfoot Face database created? Well over the last six years, going on into the seventh year, I've been in the field doing research and I keep my camera running almost all of the time. <clears throat> and then I post these uh, videos on YouTube. And there are people out there that love to basically research Bigfoot with me, but don't have the resources to be able to go. And so they get on at YouTube and they go through and search my videos for hidden Bigfoot. Uh, sometimes they're successful, sometimes they're not. And we do collect quite a few faces. Well, I know that there are optical illusions, uh, squatch blobs, and I'm not saying that all these faces are the real thing. But in order to sort them out, I've devised a method of creating the database and going through and looking for characteristics, likenesses. Um, <clears throat> if I have more than one, or if I have a face that basically appears in more than one place at a different time, then the probability of that being a real Bigfoot is more likely. Each match that I get of that particular face makes it more uh, more likely that Bigfoot was there watching me. Um, and I seem to be in kind of like a running battle with other uh, Bigfoot hunters, um, so-called experts and so forth like that to say that I'm doing a big disservice by putting the, these faces on the, the internet because uh, people will think you're crazy and, and it just downgrades and demeans the um, basically the Bigfoot research world. Uh, I beg to differ. differ. Basically, uh, when you're developing theories, you don't throw any information out. You collect it all. You throw it into a pile. You start sorting it out. You start seeing similarities. You start seeing basically the same concepts over and over again. This is what you use to develop your theories. This is more than likely pretty close to the truth. And this is what I've been trying to do with my Bigfoot database. So I'm not going to discourage anybody from looking through my videos and sending me freeze frames or uh, snippets or whatever uh, and tell me there's a Bigfoot face here or a Bigfoot face there. Uh, basically, I'm not going to do that. I, I want to encourage you to do that. Because in my Bigfoot database, the more faces we have, the better. The more likely we're going to start seeing matches. And yes, I have had several Bigfoot faces show up more than once. So more than likely, these guys are real, and they were actually there. Kind of, you know, it's kind of funny with the, the Bigfoot faces. Um, if, if it's blurry or dark or whatever, 
then obviously it's a squatch blob. Uh, no value whatsoever. Well, and, but yet if you have one that's pristine, crisp, and clear, it's a hoax. So, you know, there's no winning in either case. Uh, but by going through and doing these matches, uh, matching up the faces and so forth, that's uh, going to be really, really hard to hoax. Uh, it's going to be really not likely that a Squatch Blob is going to appear more than once in a different location or at different times. So this is why I do the Bigfoot database. Now this is, uh, my face database is on www.mogionmonster.com yeah, and I have started a national face database. I have Arizona in there and I have a couple other states that are starting to uh, share information and photos with me. So I would like to encourage you if you would like to have your face included into the database send it to me with an email saying that I have permission to use it uh, and I will use it and I will put it on my website and we'll see if we can get some matches from any other uh, Bigfoot researchers that might be out there. By doing the Bigfoot database and so forth, um, I get away from the possibility of losing an actual photo of Bigfoot just because it doesn't seem real or it's a little blurry or a little dark or whatever um, you know it would be a shame to throw one of those away by going through and matching them up that uh, pretty well ensures that that blurry photo was realistic however you need to be able to see the facial features so if you donate a, a face please uh, you know, don't don't give me one that you can't make out the features. I mean, I need to know the general shape of the the eyes, the cheekbones, the hairline, uh, stuff like that. So, you know, if you have to stretch it to make it fit, uh, you can send it in to me, and and uh, you know, I'll I'll put it in the database, but it's probably won't get any matches. Um, so, you know, use your own discretion as to what you share and what you don't share. And uh, if and when I do post your face in a YouTube video showing Bigfoot faces, I will give you credit in the trailers and so forth of finding those faces. And uh, I would like to know a little bit of information about general location. I mean, I, I don't necessarily need to know specifically where. But, you know, if you want to say it's in Lorain County uh, or in the Wasatch Mountains or something like that, that's, that's probably good enough. Um, I'd like to know where, when, um, the basic circumstances behind it where you're hiking down a trail uh, and you just happen to see it or if you were out squatching, um, that kind of thing. Just some general information for the proper credits to go, you know, to give you credit for finding the faces. Um, I really do believe that the Bigfoot research world has been plagued with backstabbing, backbiting, suspicion, uh, especially since there are those out there that will hoax uh, in a heartbeat. So we're t I'm trying to get away from, uh, you know, making it look like that. Um, However, it's really hard for some of us to get any credibility with all of that going on. So, stay tuned. Uh, I am going into season number seven now. I have my first expedition next week. Uh, you won't be hearing anything for me for up to two weeks because I will be in the field. Uh, hopefully, we'll come back with some better photos we'll have uh, better pictures maybe even some great audio because I've got a nice great big sound app now um, so I'm looking forward to this season and I hope we give you some good quality information research and basically solving the riddle of the Bigfoot thank you see you again